So welcome back guys this is Gamer for Life back with another series of tutorials so this is part one of a three part series of tutorials and in this part we will be learning how to do flight planning in SimBrief. SimBrief is a very important tool that helps you do a flight planning in a real world scenario while still doing it for the flight sim uh, like MSFS. So let's first choose our aircraft I mean in this case it doesn't really matter but anyways I'm gonna choose fly by wire simulation and uh, what I'm interested in I want to choose my departure and my arrival airports and I want to look at the runways because those are the numbers that I'll be using to do my real uh, my my flight planning inside SimBrief. So I'm gonna choose Frankfurt, Germany International Airport, which is EDDF as the departure airport, and we're gonna do, do uh, choosing the Heathrow, London International Airport for our landing. So this will be a reasonably uh, shorter flight. I'm this one hour flight. So let's now zoom into the departure airport which is EDDF and you can see we'll be taking off from the runway 25C so that's an important number that we need to remember because we'll be entering it in SimBrief and similarly if we move to the arrival airport we'll be using the 20, 27 right runway for our landing so that that information is vital because you j just don't want to create a random flight plan and then you know worry about uh, how to land where to land so msfs gives you an opportunity to look at the airports and see the runways so let's now go to the sim brief which is now uh, owned by navigraph so you create an account simple one is free just sign up and then click on dispatch and choose my flight plan so this will give you uh, a window new window where you can click on and the new flight plan and here you can see you have different options so you can choose airline uh, flight number departure time etc but those don't really matter what matters is you know you enter your departure airport which is EDDF and then you want to enter your arrival airport which is EGLL Heathrow International Airport so based on this your flight plan settings are pre-populated the next most important thing is you want to choose your aircraft so it is a320 in our case and now if you go to the third box you know you can leave these options pretty much as default you don't need to worry about these but what you need to enter is in your departure and arrival runways so uh, let's now go back to the flight simulator msfs 2020 and just confirm so EDDF we will be uh, taking off from 25C so and, uh, and at the arrival airport it will be 27 right so let's now enter 25C as our departure runway click yes and then again choose 27 right which is already populated pre-populated so don't worry about these uh, zero fuel weight or passengers or anything like that so here you can see it has created a route for us so this is the route that we'll be flying and uh, we can enter this flight plan inside msfs 2020 so what we should now do is click on generate operational flight plan click yes and this will be generating our flight plan it will take only a few seconds now once the flight plan becomes available click on print so this then generates a PDF so I had created earlier I have another one so this is the flight plan that you can save to your uh, computer or laptop and you can use this to create your uh, your flight in flight plan inside MSFS 2020 so you can see there are various uh, fields in this so the most uh, it's, it's pretty long in fact you know it's 62 pages long and it pretty much resembles like a real world flight plan uh, although it says underneath every page that this is for simulation purposes only and not to be used for real world flight planning but you can see it has uh, details like cost index and it gives you your cruise altitude and uh, there are uh, zero fuel weight 
and other things so it's everything is almost there and you have your block fuel on board uh, this is what these these are the things that I'm highlighting you know that we'll be needing for entering and on second page you have the routing so this is uh, the route so you see this is our departure airport and the departure runway and followed by that we have what we call SIT which is standard instrument departure and then we have uh, waypoints uh, which are uh, alphabets only and then where, where you see numbers these are the airways so these are the two things that we can enter in the while while we are doing our flight planning so this is our sit and the last one just before the arrival airport is the uh, star which is standard arrival and then we have our arrival airport and arrival runway so this is uh, and this is all for part one so let me know if you have any comments or questions just comment below 